Welcome to day 18 of our 21-day public speaking challenge. We have four more days to go. Guys, are you ready to say goodbye? I don't think so. That's why I'm creating the greatest masterclass of public speaking for yoga teacher. He's going to be on my IG story. So if you don't follow me there yet, it's time to follow me there because that's when I release the date of the masterclass, which it might be in around two weeks. Anyway, welcome again to day 18. Today is the time to take your skills to the next level and improve your expertise in yoga teaching. We will explore ways to help you refine and elevate your skills to empower you on, on your journey. Let's get started. We have three main points and through and within those points we have minor points as well let's start with the first one self reflection so we've been recording we've been practicing we've been taking notes now it's time to play back the recording with the student's eye watch your recorded sessions with a fresh perspective as you were a student no down observation on your pace on your tone on the body language on the rhythm the clarity of instruction and the areas that you need to improve how to identify areas for improvement? Well, you need to recognize aspects that can be defined, such as weak or strong point. What was your weakest point? What was your stronger point? Be specific about what can you do differently next time to enhance your delivery. In the vast kingdom of public speaking, there are no magic formulas. It's a process of continuous experimentation, trial and error, successes and more errors, going back, rewatch, refine, tweak and all that jazz. Even when a speech goes really well, there is always room for improvement. Your yoga class can always be honed for ev ev even better results. By willing to take the risk and experiment with new ideas, you are moving into an extraordinary result that's when you grow that's when you become that's when you evolve as a yoga teacher however don't forget to acknowledge your strengths and effective communication moments Cele celebrate small victories small wins and positive aspect of your presentation even though it might have been too weak in some points just celebrate whatever has been you've been done good because we shouldn't focus only on the weak, weak, weak point, but we also should celebrate the small, insignificant wins. I contact to bond with the audience. This is something that I always repeat pretty much in all the classes. Remember, the ultimate goal is not just delivering a speech, but forming a genuine connection with your audience. And how do you do that? Well, notice if your gaze are too long on the floor or on the ceiling, if you are, for example, supine or prone, and gaze where your audience or camera is. So notice that when you're going back, re-watching your recording, and ensure that your gaze always connect with your imaginary audience and adds a natural fl a flow to your delivery. This is something that I always repeat, and this is so important to connect with your student. That's why you are there. You are there also to connect with new people, to, to look at to look up to their needs, to their desire and problems. And the only way to do that is to look at them. So that's no other way. Gather feedback. So if a public speaker presentation went incredibly well, it's easy to think, oh, I've done it all. But the truth is there is always room for growth. Continue to gather feedback and create a form to gather insight to improve your public speaking. Share your foundational class with your friends, as we already mentioned yesterday, and the online community seek constructive feedback to identify areas for improvement and refinement. Use platform like Facebook to connect with a wider audience and receive different opinions. If you like, I'm going to give you this great tip. 
if you like and you're comfortable doing you can send me your video when you're happy with your recording upload it on youtube and then set to set set the video on privacy settings to unlisting if you never done um if you never upload a video on youtube i definitely recommend to watch one of the tutorial and copy and paste the link and shoot it over in dramatically different private Facebook group. If you don't know what I'm talking about, everything is in the description of the video. So you can join the community and you can share the video with the community so you can have your feedback to refine and to um, adjust anything that needs to be adjusted. Tweak and refine. So implement the feedback received to tweak and refine your presentation. Focus on clarity, engagement, and addressing any areas of concern. Now we're moving to refine skills. So how do we refine skills? First of all, you need to have very clear in mind that to refine your skill, one of the thing is time management. You need to master your time management as a yoga teacher because someone else might have a yoga class after you. Students might want to have a chat in between classes. So you need to consider always 15 minutes in between one class and the other. That's why you need to finish your class right on time rehearsing, considering your speech duration and ensuring you stick to the allotted time. Also, imagine if you're running out of time, what asana can you remove in the cool down? What can you remove from your class to come to the perfect time management of your class? Practice your pacing to cover all the key points without sounding like a speed racer or without being too calm as well. So something in between. And as we mentioned in the previous class, you might want to speed a little bit more on a sun salutation, but you don't want to speed on a cool down. So there are different phases of your class where you can speed, you can slow down. Effective time management ensures a well-paced pre presentation that cat captivates your audience. So you always want to make sure that you are on right on time with everything, with the warm up, with the middle one, with the middle two, and with the cool down. And you want to have time management mastery in within those segmentations of your class. Pay attention to your tempo and pacing. Sometimes nerves can make us speak too quickly or too slowly. Try to find the right pace and timing for a more natural and engaging delivery. Tailor-made teaching, rehearsing and adapting to potential modification due to body limitation, alignment, contraindication, uh, corrections, adjustment, benefit, contraindication, whatever it is for each asana. It's, it's like imagine responding to your um, students' needs, problems and desire or body limitation, in particular moment asanas of your yoga class or speech. Conquering nervousness, acknowledge and manage nervous energy using technique like deep, deep breathing. But be careful here, guys. You, there, there is a time before your class and also within your, your routine that you need, to, you need to find the right um, routine for you to master your breath so it's not just in the class where you practicing control breathing you need to do that before your class every day every morning that's when you can control your breathing as well in your yoga class add more keywords incorporating additional keywords into your teaching is a great technique to reinforce important concept and ensure clarity of instruction. Those keywords act as mental cues, helping you recall essential information and stay on track, important, even if you momentarily lose your train of thought. Of thought. 
of thought. <laughs> Whether it's highlighting crucial steps in a sequence, emphasizing key principles or signaling transition between segments of your class, incorporating more keywords, empower you to navigate your teaching with confidence and clarity, ensuring a more effective and impactful learning experience for all your students. And the last point to refine your skill for, the for this class is join supportive organizations. Explore joining organizations like Top Masters and participate actively in a supportive and non-judgment environment to refine your public skill, whatever it is. If it's not a Top Master, maybe it's a public speaking course. That's why I also create Elevator Yoga Teaching in Public Speaking, because we can together practice our public speaking, practice our classes. The conclusion of this class, refining your skills offer a comprehensive roadmap, roadmap for self-improvement. Through self-reflection steps like watching recorded sessions with a student eye, identify areas of improvement and acknowledging successes, you can gain valuable insight. Seeking feedback from friends and online communities provide diverse perspectives and opportunity for refinement. Implementing this feedback and mastering time management ensure well-paced presentation that captivate your audience. And of course, stay dramatically different. Ciao for now. A few cows just came by as well to say hi. I'm going to show it to you because they're very cute. Let's see if you can see them. Here they are. <laughs> Countryside life. Ciao!